changes. What's up guys, it's Mr. Wizard Crafty and today we're going to be doing a tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to make a spigot server. And on my last um, video I did on how to make a Helena server, this one's slightly more complicated because you can add a bit more stuff to it like plugins and you can do a lot more things on it. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So first you want to you wanna download spigot.jar obviously. So you, you, you're going to go to this link that will be in the description and you want to click spigot. And once you've done that, you want to download the latest one, so 1.10.2. So once you've um, downloaded your jar, you can just drag that onto your desktop. And all you want to do is just click on it, and you want to edit the text. And you just want to take all of this off, except for the spigot. So it's just called spigot.jar. Now, really simple, that is. So yeah, now all you want to do is just make a folder so you do file new folder and you can call it whatever you want I'm just going to call it server so we're doing a Minecraft server and we'll just drag that into the server once you drag your jar into your server you're pretty much fine there now what you want to do now is just open up text edit and all you want to do is do make new document and put format is make plain text what you want to do is just copy and paste the text that I put in the description and just paste it into the plain text so yeah well that's all you have to do now you just want to save it and all you I know you want to do now is just call it start dot command and you just want to tick off this if no connection is provided you just, just tick off that I don't even know what it is and make sure it's unicode utf8 now you want to do that is save it on your desktop you can close that out and just drag your start dot command into your server okay now you've done that you just want to open up terminal and what you want to do in terminal, terminal, sorry, is type in, type in C H M O D space A plus, oh, sorry, A plus X space, and you want to drag your start dot command into the terminal, and make sure you get the spaces right as I said it and all you want to do now is just press enter now all that does is just locates locates the folder I think yeah so once you've done that you can just um, command Q out of that okay now you can just open now you can press start dot command now as it loads up it will start to read files and as it starts to do that you'll start to get folders such as logs, whatever it's doing, I don't know, so properties, ELO.txt. Now it says, and that's process completed, but this says there's a fail to load ELO.txt. So all we need to do is go onto the ELO.txt and change this false to true. Really simple and just save that. Command S and yeah. All you want to do now is just start up the server, eat really simple, and then you'll get a lot more stuff to to like to, to load out, including the worlds, all stuff like that. So once that's done, you can just stop your server. Just press stop. And that's pretty much it with the um that that the spigot server. Now I'll just show you how to make how to get a plugin into into your server okay if you want to get a plugin for your server or more plugins or like i don't know you could go to this page called bucket bucket and you can just go to get plugins and search the plugin here 
So we can, for instance, we can type up world edit. Oh, world edit. Now, world edit is one of the most popular plugins, and you'll probably need it on your server. So yeah, you can just click on it, click on your world edit, and you can download it. So once your your world edit or whatever your plugin is, you can just drag it on your desktop, and you're just going to go into plugins and just drag your jar into the plugins folder. Once you've finished that, you can start up your server, and, you, and as you can see, um, and as it loads up, just load a folder called world edit, but do not delete the jar, just keep it so it doesn't mess up the server. And so once it's finished, you can just reload, just to make sure of it. And you can just go on your Minecraft, type up localhost, and your server will be really good and working. It will be up. Will be working really good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe. Tell me what else. Tell me what else you want me to do. What else tutorials? What else games? All the links of the downloads, my other videos, all that will be in the link description. In the description, sorry. So yeah, just don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.